Hi crew, welcome back to another Terraria how-to video. Uh, this is Happy Days. So yesterday when we were playing, we just started our own little house. We've got it set up for some NPCs and we've got a chest and that's pretty much it. Oh, and some wood armor and we killed a few bunnies. So what I thought I'd show you today is pretty much a really quick way to get started uh, finding some better ores under the ground and it pretty much involves just uh, digging down basically and I know that might sound really obvious but I find you can muck around trying to find nice ways down into the the earth but sometimes one of the quickest ways is just to dig down now before you think we're gonna wreck our nice house we're not going to do that so what we're gonna do is get out some of our wood walls that we were working with so we're gonna finish that little bit off there cool and also what's really handy um, oh there's that cool campfire I wanted one of those sorry I'm getting sidetracked uh, these wood platforms are really handy at the start of the game it's gonna make quite a lot of them let's make 99 is the max for a stack and probably not going to need the acorns and we'll make as many torches as we can and we've got tons of glow sticks cool okay let's get this fire down somewhere it's pretty nice it's pretty big if I can remember correctly too cool it looks a bit out of place in the house but anyway and that makes this buff appear on you so you're getting like life regen anyway Back to these wooden platforms so that seals the house in and then we can dig down and all I do is every so often actually I'll move it on the hotbar let's put the that there and that there so they're nice and close we're not gonna need the axe as much underground okay so you go back to four just put one in and that means you can jump back up and to get back down you just hold down just remember to put one every so often because you do take fall damage in this game so we're just gonna make a nice corridor straight down oh there's stuff down here okay and just to see all I do is dig a little hole in the wall put a torch and there you go just straight down okay what do we got here Ooh. What's this crazy ore on the ground? What's that? Tungsten? I don't even know what that is. I'm going to be honest with you. I haven't played this game for a good year or so. So there's all this new stuff in here. I've heard there's this place. When I used to play it, it was just called The Corruption. Which was like this evil place in the map. And now it's called... It can be called Corruption or... Oh, it's like blood or something. Some bloody place. Bloody... Ooh, lead ore. So pretty much when you get started... Like, there, there is guides that can make you be ultra efficient, but... Remember, this guide's just for people just having a play with it. You don't sort of want to... I think sometimes people forget just to have fun with games, too. All I like to do when I'm getting started is, yeah, just take a bit of time and mine some ores. Just explore the game a bit. Get some stuff. Oh, what's that up there? Oh, more ore. So a lot of the game's digging through sort of underground bits. There's some more of this tin ore. Get some of that. It's pretty cool. So the ores appear like this in your inventory. And once you get a forge, I'm pretty sure, I found some gold ore before too. Um, you can turn them into ingots, which is like a bar, if you didn't know. And yeah, you can just, from that you can actually make better material or equipment out of it. So you get the ingots and then you can make armors and better tools. Uh, water plays a big part of this game. So as you can see, I've got a breath meter. It's actually reasonably easy to work around. Also, I just found this before, if you hold shift, it pulls out an appropriate light for where you are. 
So it's kind of like a little flashlight and it doesn't seem to use up the torch. So part of this was wanting to make a corridor down. So put another step there, another one there. So I can still get back up to my house. I'm also going to, and try not to use your wood, try and use like the dirt you find heaps of. I'm going to make, actually close this side in. Just because monsters do spawn and you don't want them coming up every time you jump in. Okay, here's some more of that tungsten ore. This is not efficient. <laughs> Jump mining. It's the new craze, kids. Put down your PS4 and go do some jump mining. Yeah. Ah, oh, there we go. Uh, later in the game you get uh, grappling hooks and stuff like that and it makes mining high up things a lot easier so what we might do is just keep digging down here so we've made a corridor down here and then we'll just run down here a bit and straight back down again and just remember to stop every so often and put torches hey get in there there we go. And you're like collecting rocks and stone while you're doing all this, which is cool. Oops. So your character can jump pretty high. Actually, I might collect those. Cool. Just makes it really fast to get down to deeper areas. So that's where all the good stuff is. Okay, I'll put a torch there. Ooh, so you can see all that lovely water trying to get through here. What you can actually do, which is, I don't know how, through the magic of Terraria, you can actually put a dirt barrier and then mine the stuff you really want to mine. So, we can't go straight down, so we're going to have to go across a bit. So we're just going to dig a little bit over like this. Just a little bit. Maybe put a little torch up here. Ooh, that's nice. And then we're going to go down again. Oh, is this all... It's not all underwater, is it? Oh, it's getting close to the wall. What have I done? I want a torch. Oh, what's that? Is that... No. Okay. So thankfully there's that barrier keeping all the water out and not killing me, which is nice. I am thankful. So as you can see, you can make a really quick way to get where you need to go. So we can quickly go back up the top. And then you've got your safe house back up here. Which is really cool. Now let's put some torches outside. Uh, later in the game you can get all different materials from different biomes and make your house look real funky and stuff. Um, if you don't want your house to look all like tunneled down like this, you could possibly like go a bit to the right of your house first and then tunnel down. I just like being able to do it without going outside, so just quickly going like that. Anyway, uh, just that was just a little quick one today. Um, just while I'm just going back. Usually when you get back to your safe house, you manage your inventory. And I'll expand this house to have a storeroom soon. Um, a lot of blocks, sometimes you get random blocks that you don't really need. You can just put them in this little trash bin down here. Or if you hold shift and click it, it goes straight in. Um, so it's a good way, if there's stuff you don't want, um, it's a good way to quickly, so shift, click the mud block. Just know that the last item that was in the bin is permanently deleted. Um, so yeah, it does get rid of it. Uh, things like dirt blocks and stone blocks are great to keep. Because as you saw in the last video, we had to make a little bridge. And you want to use wood as least as possible. Wood's really good for building. So, let's just have a quick look and see. Sometimes you can just scan and see if there's anything new to build. Um, so, kind of cool wood table. 
I mined some wood in the frost zone and it's called boreal wood. So it seems to make more decorative sort of woods. It's kind of cool. Oh, wood helmet. Oh, boreal makes different sort of... Hmm. It doesn't seem any stronger really. It just seems to be aesthetically cool. Oh, f furnace. Cool, I can make one. All right. So we got the furnace. Now, where's it going to fit though? Mm, it's not too big. Mm, don't really have room. Maybe I could put the fire outside. Ah. And I broke the wall. The fire just doesn't look right inside, does it? Let's put it outside. I don't. <laughs> Fail. <laughs> okay. Where's Mr. Fire? There we go. That's better. Okay, we'll put the furnace here. Sweet. Now, so if you push escape in front of a furnace, any of your ores, so three tin ore will turn into a tin bar. And usually you just hold right click down and it'll make as many bars as it can. So hold for the lead bars and then the tungstens. Some of them take more ore. Cool, so I just got some ores. Now, you can make bricks out of uh, ores, but I don't really recommend that, especially at the start. Now, let's go back to the crafting table and see if anything else has popped up. So the crafting is very reliant on itself. So as you get more ores and bars and metals, like more options open up. Check the wiki if you're not sure how to build something. It's a good way to get started. Okay, so the anvil needs five lead bars and then it's so it says it can make items from metal bars. So I think our lead is like iron. There seems to be two types of worlds that spawn and some have lead, some have iron. I think tungsten could be like copper from the other world. I don't know. It's similar, same, same, but different. Okay. Whoops, I scrolled too fast. All right, so as you can see, we can now make new pickaxes and tools. So tin has 35%, same as this. So I'd say tin is the equivalent of copper. Oh, monk hunt tracks, awesome. So I don't think tin is gonna be much better here. 40% axe power. Okay, the axe is stronger. All right, let's see what else we can make. Ooh, tin armor. Fishing poles, oh, this is cool. We've got lead broadsword, 11 damage. Okay, that does heaps more. Lead bow, got buckets, doors, a heavy workbench, advanced crafting, cool. Okay, here's what I was looking for. So you can see from that tungsten pickaxe, see how it's got 50% pickaxe power? And it says it can also mine meteorite. Now usually, when you get a new ore, you prioritize what you want to make with the bars. So mining is something you do a lot of in this game. So I recommend you get your pickaxe first. Firstly, you unlock the next ore type and it works faster. Um, you notice it's got a, a, like a buff title. This is called a demonic tungsten pickaxe. So they all have little bonuses. This is actually a really good one. So it does 17% more damage and critical strike, which is pretty cool. And it's faster. So you'll see when we're mining it, uh, mines faster. Oh, that had 25% damage, cool. Um, with your copper stuff, you can sell it once the NPC comes, but seriously, um, a lot of your starting gear is worth like a few copper pieces, which you get heaps of anyway. So do yourself a favor, just chuck anything that seems kind of useless. All right, so we got a cool new pickaxe. So we've got that. Is there anything else we can make before we move on here? A tin helmet. I don't think that's worth it because that will take the, the set bonus off the wood. So it's pretty much wasting the tin. No, it looks like it for now. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna put the bars in here. Don't need to take those. 
And yeah, you pretty much start saving up your bars and yeah. It looks like tin is not useful um, because it makes the similar tools we started with. Oh, actually, the hammer I could probably upgrade. Actually, I wonder if we can make a tin hammer. Because we've only got a wooden one. What's it do? 38% hammer power. Oh, it is better. Okay. Oh, well, let's upgrade that. A terrible tin hammer. <laughs> um, yeah, I think we got... I suppose we're only using it to dap break things, so... I don't like the idea of having a terrible tin hammer. <laughs> cool. Alright, so that was basically uh, how to get started with your mining. As you can see, we were finding lots of ore down here. There's even some more just in there if I go across. Um, and you find different areas underground. Lots of cool stuff. After you've gone a certain amount underground, you'll start finding monsters. Uh, really strong ones. And yeah. Now that the guides come back, just before I end this video, if you put the bars on them, it shows you all the things you can make with the bars. So tin armor seems reasonably strong. It even shows some later game stuff. So this topaz staff is a magic staff. That's pretty cool. All the different weapons. Let's put the gold bar in. Okay, gold seems like it's pretty good. 55% power. Pretty good attack. Ooh, look at gold armor. Four defense, five defense. Man, the helmet has more defense than my whole ensemble at the moment. What's that? A gold crown. And a throne. Okay. So, the guide is really useful if you're trying to figure out what to make. And sometimes with uh, game items later in the game, it can be useful too. Alright, I'm going to end it there. That was fun. And yeah, we'll see you next game uh, once we get a bit further down. Alright, don't forget to hit that subscribe button if you're enjoying this series. And if you like this video, leave a like if, if you learned anything, especially if you're a new Terraria player. And I'll see you next time. This is Happy Days, signing out.